All right. Yay, yay, yay. Okay, so I'm back. Wow. This story is just so crazy that I don't even know where to begin. <laughs> Hello, everyone. My name is Morgan Gibson. I am back with another video. I kind of can't believe it either. Um, so today is going to be a little bit of a story time about how I missed my school's orientation. Um, needless to say, I am not ready for adulting. I like in Alabama, you don't become an adult till you're 19. Rightly so. Rightly so, because I'm not ready. Like I am not ready. So let me give you guys a backstory because I kind of tried to tell this story earlier without giving a backstory. I'm still in high school at this point, and I get a, probably get like a little email from Howard from my primary to my primary email address, and it's like are you bison ready it's it's asking me if i'm bison ready i'm like am i bison ready i think so i think i'm bison ready i'm ready to be a bison and so they're like register for bison prep i'm like oh that's a really good name it has a good ring to it i i'm i'm liking this bison prep vibe you feel well the real hu22 group chat is it's going up it's going up everybody's like bison prep you know when are you going da, 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 da. and I was like, I'm gonna go in July. So I, you know, I go on and I register for something. I registered for an informational session and campus tour. Now I thought it was bison prep because I I went through the link on the email, but somewhere I went wrong. Somewhere I, I'm guessing I went wrong, you know, maybe when I got to the you know the howard.edu website. I don't really know. But I'm guessing that's where I went wrong because I signed up for an informational session and I signed up for um, a session at 12 o'clock. I signed up at 12 and so you know I'm like great I don't have to be at Howard University until 12. They had a 10 o'clock, they had a 12 and they had a 2. So I was like you know 12 is the medium, it's the middle, you know that's great. I don't, to this day, I'm still a little confused because I'm pretty sure I signed up for Bison Prep, but I'm not sure what the registration time slots were for. I don't, like, somewhere I went wrong. I signed up for an informational session and campus tour simultaneously believing that I signed up for Bison Prep. I, like, I, I went through so much to get to Washington, D.C. The struggle was real for this Alabama girl. So the fact that I missed my Bison Prep, like, it wasn't okay. I get to Howard University at 11, so about an hour before um, my informational session and campus tour, what I believe to be by some prep starts, you know, I get, I get there an hour early so I can go to the financial aid office so they can kind of help me navigate what in the world is going on with my funds, you know, because they're not there I'm looking for them, but I can't find them. So anyway, now it's time for my information informational session and campus tour okay so I'm thinking this is bison prep um I go inside I'm like oh where's bison prep they're like oh this is in bison prep this is the this is a campus tour I was like okay so then I walk inside they said go inside go inside the Crampton auditorium so I go inside the auditorium I go to like so there's like a little little desk off to the side and I'm like oh bison prep you know my thing starts at 12. I mean, I should have noticed like she was confused when I said it starts at 12 because a bison prep is an all day event. <laughs> I'll get to that later. Um, I told her it started at 12 and she was like, okay, um, you should go outside to like um, the, under the tent, you know, and I went out there, there was like a little club fair where they have like, the organizations and like the different programs you can be a part of that they have, you know, to offer to the students. I was like, I'm living for this opportunity. I'm living for, I hope my eyebrows are blended, but probably not. Struggle. I was like, I'm living for this opportunity, you know, to to see what's going on while I wait on my bison prep to start. Wow. So after that, um, I, it's about it's about 12 now. So I'm going inside and I have to use the bathroom. And I go downstairs and there are a whole bunch of people down there and I see a little bison prep sign. Like it was like don't use unless like you're with bison prep or whatever. And I'm like, I'm with bison prep. You know what I'm saying? That's why I'm thinking. I was wrong. So we went on the campus tour. The tour guide's name was Neek. She was literally amazing. She just gave the best information and um, just helped us like understand, you know, all that Howard has to offer 
and at the end of the campus tour I was like no oh no I talked to a mother during the campus tour and she was like oh my daughter's in 10th grade I was like okay is this bison prep like <laughs> is this my cuz cuz you just said your daughter's in the 10th grade and like I don't know is that right like should there be 15 year olds at bison prep I didn't know and so she was like, yeah, this is bicep prep. This is bicep prep. I was like, okay, okay, who? Cool, because I was getting a little confused. And then um, at the end of the tour, I asked the tour guide, her name is Neek. I was like, Neek, like, was this bicep prep? She was like, no. This wasn't. Bison prep was inside. It was inside. Like, I went to the auditorium. I went in the lobby. I did not go inside the auditorium, you know? And now I'm upset. And now I'm frustrated. And I feel, you know, like when you feel your tears in your throat right here that's where they were they were right here and i was about to um just go all types of crazy so so then my dad goes inside the crimson auditorium and i'm looking around i see no kids i see no students you know i'm like okay so where's everybody and i'm still under the assumption that there are tours starting at these specific time slots okay I'm walking through the campus and if I remember correctly I remember just calling on the name of Jesus because at this point I was so hurt I just remember calling on Jesus and then I see the NSO students oh let me tell you about Jesus I go over there and I talk to this one guy I don't remember his name but he had dreads and he was just so kind but he was like so nice he was like okay yeah this is bison prep um right now we're just splitting them up into their schools you know they had them split up into like these really cool signs and i he was i was just frustrated at this point so he guides me over to somebody who can help me he was like you see that girl over there she can help you taya if you're watching this you saved my life you saved my life because if I if I told my mom that I went to DC and didn't go to Bison Prep, I don't know I don't know where I would be right now. I, I don't know what would be me. So honestly, like Taya, Shelby, and Amari, you guys literally saved my life. Like I I'm not I'm not even being funny right now because I live so far away. Like I wouldn't have been able to come back and make that trip. They were like can you come tomorrow? I was like, I can come tomorrow. I'll still be here. Honestly, it worked out perfectly. Um, you know, they helped me out. She was like, let me get your name and your number and your email. Oh, when I tell you, like, I while I was still on Howard's campus, I, my bison prep was rescheduled. I was registered for the next day. I was just like, mind blown like they really worked a miracle um that was the nso the new student orientation of undergraduate studies office of undergraduate studies i think they literally saved my life so i tell my dad and my dad you know we can just go we can come back tomorrow and kind of get the, the whole shebang um after i had my, my cry i had my little cry i went to bus boys and poets and i got offered a job there i was just like you know what it's turning the day is turning around <clears throat> so the next day i go to bison prep bison prep was literally amazing i met some of the most beautiful people ever i love howard university already i'm already stressed out about it you know you know but we're just gonna pray on it but it was amazing like i met this guy named cameron he was the first i met his mom miss desiree and i met her because like i was like wait my best friend's name is desiree like hi and then you know i met her son cameron and we literally like we were rolling together for the rest of the day as much as possible i was in group one he was in another group um and we sat together at lunch and he when he made friends he introduced his friends to me when i made friends i introduced my friends to him and then i met shaq shaq is so cool um i just wow like i'm so blessed to have gone to bison prep on the day that i went i met so many people um it was just great i met dia like dia i feel like we're gonna be besties there because like we're in the same college it was really really fun i met a few other people i mean just i was just so blessed to see to see the people that i saw and like actually go on the day that it wasn't my day but it was for a purpose and i'm just blessed you know it was it was a hard time but i did i definitely missed my school's or i missed my school's orientation i was just like how how do you mess it up all i know is that it worked out for my good <laughs> my some 18 i have the shirt to prove it and i went 
So yes, I missed my student orientation, um, but it was worked out and I was able to go the very next day. So I'm blessed for that. I'm very grateful for Howard University for just helping me, even when it was like a personal issue. It was my issue, my problem that I missed my student orientation, but I'm so grateful for the students at the new student orientation, Office of Undergraduate Studies, the people that worked and the ambassadors, they really like, really helped me out. So I'm really grateful for that. But yes, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you haven't already, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed the story time. Oh, also please subscribe because I'm going to start uploading more videos. Maybe like a little bit of like an HBCU lifestyle. I don't know. This sounds like really fun and really cute. And I'm just really ready for Domino's Pizza to show up because I just ordered. Like I ordered like literally, according to the camera, like 23 minutes ago. So I'm going to make them a chop chop. Yeah. Don't fry.